Hey, what's up guys? Worldwide here. So in this video, I'm going to tell you guys about a practice scoring game that I've been playing quite a bit and it's improved, it's personally improved my scoring ability through the roof. So uh, yeah, I've been playing it a lot recently and there's a couple reasons why I like this game. First of all, is it's not boring. It's only 10 rounds long, 30 darts, that's it. And secondly, it replicates a, what would happen in a real life match situation. You know, there's a lot of practice games out there where you're just continually throwing at one segment over and over. It gets boring, and that really doesn't, you know, that's not what happens in a real-life match. You know, you don't throw at one segment all the time. You can go for cover shots. So that's why I like this practice game so much. Now, let me tell you about it. Okay, so let me explain how this game works. It's super easy, 10 rounds, 30 darts, and that's it. You're going to be using the scoring segments 20s. 19s and 18s, those are the three most important scoring segments when you're playing 501. So in the first round, let's say you throw and hit 520s. So now you have a score of 5 after round 1. You're only going to keep track of the marks hit in each of these three scoring segments. So in round 2, let's say your first dart completely blocks the trouble bed. So now you're going to go for cover shot on the 19s, and let's say you pick up four of those. So now after round two, you have a total score of 10. And going into round three, again, let's say that first dart blocks the treble bed. You come down here for cover. That's blocked as well. Now you can go to the 18s. And let's say you pick up a treble there. Now after three rounds, you have a score of 15. And onwards up until you've thrown for 10 rounds or 30 darts. Now I would say, this is just an opinion here, but if you're a recreational player, a good score to be aiming for would probably be somewhere in the 30 area, the low 30s. And if you're a really decent league player, I would say anywhere between 35 and 40 is a good score. And again, like anything over 45, 50, man, that's some pretty heavy scoring power. So what do you say we roll into a clip? I'm going to show you exactly how this works. I'll play a game and you guys can go from there. Let me know in the comment sections how well you do. And uh, yeah, let's roll into this next clip. Where'd you go, man? Okay. Hi. Okay, here we go. Ten scoring rounds using the 20s, 19s, and 18s. Any three of those will do. Let's see how this goes. Hey, that was a good start. Seven. Nice. Second round in, 14. Dropped my dart. <clears throat> yes. There is nine of them. Third round in. What's that? 23. Well, I normally don't do this. Fourth round in, 29. Uh, so what was that? Fifth round in, 34. the fives. Watch out, Abby. Six round in. 38, right? I lost track. Yeah, six round in, 38. Oof. Seventh round in, 43.
Eighth round in, 48. Oh, and the bonus sirens. Ninth round in, 51. Last round. And five more. So that gives us 10 rounds, 56 scores. So that's 5.6 marks on average every turn, which is, that's some pretty good scoring. Um, Normally my goal is just to get above at least 40. So there you go guys, it's a great scoring game. It replicates a real match because you are allowed to go for cover shots. Uh, give it a try, let me know how you guys do, and we'll see you on the next video guys. Later.